Hey all, my name is Paul Borowski and I am the owner of Quality Business Plan. And what I'd like to do today is to show you all how to use my real estate flipping business plan template. So the way that I've designed the real estate flipping business plan template is for y'all to be able to make some changes to the Word document in the Excel file or the financial model, make some changes to it within a, and um, in about 30 minutes, you should have a usable, workable uh, business plan template for real estate flipping. Now keep in mind, it, it is going to be a simple, straightforward template. You're not going to be able to use it. You might not be able to use it, raise a, you know, $10 billion or anything like that, but it, it should be, if you change the, the areas that I show you to change, you should have a workable, usable document within about 30 minutes based on the way that I've structured it. All right, so let's go ahead and zip on through this little PowerPoint presentation I've got concocted for y'all to show y'all how to use the Word document and briefly how to use the Excel financial model that's included in my real estate flipping business plan template. All right, so just to set y'all's expectations real quick, uh, first and foremost, the business plan, like I said, the template for the real estate flipping company, I have designed it so you can have a workable business plan less than 30 minutes. Now, of course, if you're gonna add a lot of content to it, and hopefully that you will, um, but if you're gonna add a lot of content to it, then obviously it's gonna take you a little bit longer than 30 minutes, but if you just change the highlighted areas and just the required segments, you should have a, be a, should have a usable, workable document, like I said, in 30 minutes. This type of business plan is gonna be for great for landlords. If your uh, flipping company is really growing and you need some office space, you, you should be able to use this um, template once you make the modifications for that purpose small business loans it's you know it is designed to meet the, the base criteria for small business loans and you can always also share your information your thoughts and ideas with friends and family um, a couple of um, a couple of restrictions for this uh, template is it's not compatible with Google or Apple products so you can't use it with Google Drive you can't you know, um, change the information into, you know, the Google Drive, the fonts and the structures and the, the template is not going to jive properly. Uh, same problem with it going to be your Apple products. Also, no free phone support. So if you buy the template, I, I do not offer free phone support. If you have questions and comments or you want to ask me some thoughts and ideas about the template before you buy it, pick up phone, give me a call, send me a text, send me an email. Be delighted to have that conversation about the product and set your expectations for the um for the template but after you purchase it i do offer support but it's going to be paid for um so make sure you ask your questions before you go ahead and pull the trigger and purchase the do um, document all right with that said this included in the purchase for the template is going to be a custom customizable word document document also it's going to have a basic financial model that you can customize as well you will have this how to use video for the word document i also include a how to use video for the financial model however i will briefly touch on the financial model um, for the house flipping template because i did have to make some a uh, little bit different of um, changes that's not included in my um, generalized financial template so I'll, I'll discuss that information with just a little bit um, at, after i go over the word document all right, so let's go ahead and zip through this little handy dandy little um, template that I have here. So once you purchase the template, you will have, like I said, a Word document and an Excel file. And once you open the Word document, this is what you're going to have. You're going to have the cover page, say real estate flipping business plan template. And so what you want to do is add either your logo here or just change the real estate flipping to whatever your company name is. And then to get rid of the um, yellow, you're just going to highlight it, go to home, and then you're going to click the down arrow and you're going to click on no color. Once you do that, the, the color is now gone. Second page is going to be your table of contents. For the table of contents, what you're going to do is once you add some of your thoughts and ideas, you add some content, inevitably you're going to add some pages to the document as well. When you add some additional pages to your template, then what you want to do is you want to come over here to your um, table of contents. You want to click on update table click on update entire table and then click on OK. And once you do that, the entire table is or the entire document is going to upload for you in the table of contents. 
The next area is going to be your executive summary. Again, I've um, customized this for the real estate renovation and sales industry, or in layman's terms, the real estate flipping industry. So you've got some areas in yellow right here. This information for the financial highlights, you can pull that information out of your financial model that is included as also the backdrop right here. Um, funding requests, the same thing. How much money you need to um, need to get the party started? The document, the template, um, does not have a segment to calculate your loans because, for the simple fact that when you buy a home, usually you're going to flip it within th um, 30, 60, 90 days, and so the the lending is a little bit different, and it is it would be a little bit more complex to include the, the lending section into the financial model. So I don't have that available in the financial model. All right, let's see here. Company description. Um, again, just fill out the yellowed areas. We got company description, real estate summary, competitive advantages, services, purchase, renovate, and sell. Target market area. Again, feel free to customize this information. We've I've got a nice little structure set up for you. Hours of operation, location, which is kind of geared towards your um, office space, and then we've got a business objectives and timeline. Then I've done a little bit of industry research for you, real estate in the U.S. industry. Found some statistics used by BIS World. Um, product in seg um, segmentation, industry revenues and growth, and I've also used some other sources as well. SWOT, uh, SWOT analysis, um, it's got the breakdown for the strength, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. If you would like to go ahead and make some changes to this information, you're going to click on the SWOT analysis. You're going to click on this arrow right here. And then you can go ahead and make whatever changes you want um, to the document. And once you're done making the changes to the, um, the the smart art here, you'll click on the X and that information will be updated for you. Next is going to be the organizational structure. Make sure to dis, um, disclose what kind of organization, legal organization or structure you have, whether it be limited liability corporation, corporation, limited liability partnership, so proprietors, so on and so forth. So make sure you make your make some some kind of changes right here, and then I've got some job responsibilities: a CEO and then a helper. Uh, a lot of the work, based on my experience, has come from subcontractors. No need to disclose their uh, job responsibilities. You'd be here for a while. Next is going to be the organizational chart. As your organization grows, so your organizational chart should, should as well. Um, the way to do this is you're going to click on the organizational chart. You're going to click on the little arrow right here. You're going to type in CEO, and then you're going to go ahead and type in whatever positions that you're going to have added to it. And as you do that, it's going to um, add additional um, sections for help. If you want to go ahead and make the um, FFS, FFAS responsible to the GSD, then you would just hit tab. And then to undo that, you would just undo it here and it would undo. So we're going to get rid of this information, um, but that's going to get you where you need to be. Here, we're, here we are. So that's your organizational chart. Next is going to be the marketing. I do break the marketing down into traditional internet and social media marketing. A great way for social media marketing is some before and after pictures on Instagram, Facebook, and so on. Uh, it, it's, it's a great story for your potential buyers to use um, for your home renovations. So I, I do give you some three sections. I, I get you started here. If you want to use this structure, fantastic. You want to add some more meat to the bone, definitely knock yourself out. Funding request. I do state that you're going to be looking for funding in $200,000 in debt or equity. I've got some terms and I've got some rates. Again, please feel free to change the information as needed. And then finally is your financial projections. I do break up the um, financial projections into quarterly projections. And so for this right here, we're showing $200,000 in revenues. Um, it is broken up to quarterly, quarter, quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, quarter four. And the reason that I use quarters is because usually the, it usually takes about three months, based on my experience, it takes about three months to purchase, renovate, and sell a property. And that is why I've broken it into quarterly as compared to monthly, because if you do monthly, then you're going to show no revenues for month one, month two, and then revenues for month three. And it's, it's a lot cleaner in this structure right here. So I do break up the profit and loss for year one on a quarterly basis. And then I do also break up the pro forma income statement on an annual basis. 
So that is how to use and what is included in the real estate flipping Word document. Now I do have um, another video that does go into greater depth on how to use my financial projection template um, for the um, home flipping and it is a generalized template. However, for the real estate side, there is a, a little piece of information that is a little bit different than my other video. And so when you're doing your real estate, when you're doing your real estate financial model, I do break it up into a daily sales and this daily sales is actually uh, quarterly. So it's quarterly sales. And the way that you're gonna do your quarterly sales is if you anticipate, um, so the way that the quarterly sales works is you've got real estate sales right here, a variable cost we anticipate um, 60%. And the number right here is how many homes do you anticipate selling on a quarterly basis? So now if you anticipate selling one home quarterly, you're going to type in 0.1.33333. That is the way that is, you've, you've got to use that, unfortunately, in order to use this financial model, is you do have to um, use it as a percentage, percentage monthly. Um, so if you're going to sell two homes a quarter, it would be 0.66666. And then if it's three homes a quarter, you would say one. And so it's just the way the financial model is designed is designed on a monthly basis so if you're going to sell a home quarterly that means you're going to sell one every three months and that's why it's the 0 0.3333 if you're going to sell two homes every three months then it's going to be the 0 0.6666 and then if you're going to sell three homes every quarter it would be one so it, it does need to be broken into a fraction in order to use this template little little bit crazy little little bit convoluted but that is the only um, real kicker that's different from my, all my other financial models is how to structure the number of homes sold on a quarterly basis. So hopefully that's not going to be too much of a bump, but I do want to disclose it and, and let you all know that th this is a little bit different than my other models. All right. So with that said, if you do want to go ahead and purchase my real estate flipping business plan template, all you have to do is go over to qualitybusinessplan.com forward slash real estate flipping business plan template. And once you get there, you're going to have this nice little page right here and you'll click here to buy. Now, once you do that, it will take you over to the downloadable real estate flipping business plan template where you're going to be able to buy the document. Um, the price does change. Keep that in mind. All right. So hopefully this information was helpful. And if you um, like what you see. Actually, let's go ahead and do a little summary real quick. So um, in the summary, um, first and foremost, stay true to the structure. If you do buy the real estate flipping business plan template from me, make sure to stay to the structure, um, stay true to the structure. I I've got a real good structure where it's explaining you know, what you're going to do, how you're going to do it, your marketing, your um, how much money, how much money do you need to, to get the party started? and then what your financial results are. So I, I do have it in a real good tight structure. Um, you definitely add your information, make, make it your own, um, you know, put a little bit more meat in the bone, but stay true to the structure. Next is going to be um, watch the Excel um, financial template tutorial. I, I did show you all a little bit on how to, you know, what's a little bit different from this model as compared to my other ones. Um, so make sure to, you know, keep that in mind when you're watching the Excel template um, model. And then finally, um, yeah, if you all like this um, you know, video, make sure to give me a thumbs up on YouTube. And if you want to go ahead and try out my real estate flipping business plan template, uh, you've got the website right here to do so. And all right, so let's wrap it up and have a fantastic day. Thank you.